Welcome to Dropy, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. <laughs> I'm Karina. I'm Nathan. And I'm Julia. And today we got a special suggestion yes. from the Drawfee Patreon Discord. Thanks for being a patron. It's because of people like you that we can keep this channel going. Thank you for being a patron. Yes. Yes. This one's from Metal Applesauce. <gasps> Whoa. And they said, how about some fan art of things you were interested in as kids? Oh. And we thought, what better time to try... A new sort of speed draw where it's we just make Karina do it. <laughs> it was me. But in this one, we're doing we're doing three pieces. Yeah, which kind of worked out. So uh, yeah, I liked things as a kid. So Karina I was like, I'll do it. Liked the most things. As I a kid. liked a lot of things. Is the three. problem? Yeah. Yeah. So originally, I was going to do a big collage, or not a collage, but like a group shot of things that I liked. And then you were like, maybe we should do three pieces since to try a new episode format. And I was like, okay. And so I was like, well, I can kind of narrow down the things I like into three categories. Oh. And then I had a lot of ideas and I decided to do them all oh my as a God. collage. I'm excited to learn of the categories. Because <laughs> I, I used, in high school, I did a lot of mixed media and collaging. And I was like, I want to try doing that, but mixing it with like the digital illustration I do now as an adult. Ooh. Hell yeah. Mixed so, media. That this is my awesome. mixed media piece because I didn't feel like drawing <laughs> um, uh, like uh, complete pieces. I wanted to do a collage. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Sweet. Should we jump into it? Yes. Okay. Three, two, one, go. So the first piece, the theme was girls. Girls. I like girls. Girls. So <laughs> I... Um, I, I had like a list to pull from, and so we. I started with uh, Miss Yoko yeah, from Gurren right. Lagan because I like her, and but yeah, I was really the, like I wasn't sure what constituted as childhood in this sense. So I was like, does that mean as like a wee child, as like a middle schooler, a high schooler? It was eclectic. So I was trying to cover all my bases. So everyone shut up. But <laughs> yeah, in high school, Gurren Lagann like changed <laughs> my life because I just thought it was really good. It also turned me into the shit poster I am today. <laughs> it changed um, you and ruined you. Yes. You thought I was unbearable. Well, this is why. It's because <laughs> I was on uh, Gurren Lagann Live Journal. Um, but I always really love Yoko's character because she's so cool, but also like has so much shit happen to her, even in the context of the world. Yeah. So I always kind of loved the way that her character played out. I just thought it was nice. And so uh, another thing I was like working into uh, this this uh, set of pieces i i consider them uh, a set of three uh when when <laughs> when i used to post a lot on deviantart i think this is why i do this a lot you know you have to i like put captions that are just song lyrics it's because you had to title your submissions on deviantart mm. so the song for this one is uh her by poppy Mm -hmm. so we'll get into that but yeah admittedly i did this one last um i did this yesterday because <laughs> i had like the the weakest ideas for it but uh so i was going kind of loose with the drawing itself so i was doing more of a painterly one so i did like the really sketchy line art and then went in and like digi painted over it i guess yeah it looks like really cool and loosey yeah. goosey and I, I i was having trouble getting the shape of her hair i this is my second attempt at drawing it and so i just wanted it to be really red i put that in um because i wanted a background and oh. then i had an idea wow so i i wanted to have a bunch of other like characters i liked but i didn't want to just like draw all of them continuously it was too much work mm -hmm. but it kind of like hearkened in my brain the idea of like those flash dress up games so i wanted to make a little doll and then that'll be like the doll base 
So this what? I just used like plasticine and put it on some wire, floral wire I had mm-hmm. so that I could reuse it later, just rip out the armature <laughs> and put it back in a box. Um, but yeah, so I, I made I made her and then just like photographed her outside. I didn't I didn't show me photographing her. I only have like two cameras and they don't reach that far. So yeah, so then I like mask that out and <laughs> did that each time. I, I took four poses uh, before she kept falling over and then getting dirty and then <laughs> ripping out the armature. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but I only end up using three of them anyway. So I do that and then I like airbrushed it to get rid of all of the like the the really distracting finger texture. Mm-hmm. Um, so it still kind of retained that like lumpy 3d shape without yeah. being like too lumpy so yeah so then I, I just did that using like the textured blender this is wild so far so <laughs> whoa i wanted i wanted it to be a collage and i wanted a lot of different i wanted to try working with like different textures and shit admittedly around the time of doing this i was like doing some of our merch designs so i was kind of already in a designy mood so i was just like fucking around and um yeah so then i was like okay these are my little dress-up dolls so i wanted to throw in more characters i like and i started and and i think i i couldn't figure out what i wanted and i did deleted it and then i just started there's so oh many my god. oh my god there's a stack yeah i really love the stack of sitting ones i thought that looked nice it does at this point like i'm not here to make something that makes a lot of sense i just wanted to make something that looked cool that's what to, to see though it's like a totally yeah. different process as, yeah you know, usual. i i wanted I, I was in the mood to do something completely different and yeah. since i wanted to fit in references to so many things i liked i didn't want to draw all of it yeah so we got card captor sakura and sailor moon and kim possible some other girls i liked yeah I had a Shigo avatar on my shared family PC window <laughs> XP profile. But yeah, and then I kind of, I, I fucked a lot around with like the layer styles because I also didn't want to completely cover up my goddamn clay figures I worked so hard on. Um, and then the last one is Morocco from Full Moon, who I love. And that really nice sky background that I really liked, I deleted it because I felt like it was kind of ruining the composition. <laughs> wow. And so well, I wanted to... At least we to... got to see it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know it was there. So then this is Sora from Digimon. And there's this one shot in the Digimon movie that's like, I've always loved my whole life. I haven't even watched the Digimon movie consciously since I was a child. Um, But it's this shot where she's like sitting by a window and they had like saved the day. So this like bomb falls into the water and it makes this huge wave behind her. And I always thought that was pretty and it was really well composed. So I was like, I'm going to put that in my thing. (laughs) This piece is like in the in in the highest compliment way I can offer unhinged. I was feeling really good. Thank you. You're right. It just looks good. Yeah. I just wanted to make something that looked good. Like, I don't know if I'd be able to do this because it's such like a, a mindset you have to be in and you just have to like. You gotta go. <laughs> this will wind up somewhere. Oh yeah, my god! Yeah. Exactly, because I didn't know what to put at the top. I didn't like the textures being there, so I just put more of those things. It's more so the good, dolls. though. They're awesome. <laughs> Thank you. They're so cute. But yeah, and that those and are the lyrics scary. from the song that I was listening to, and then I just I didn't. I it felt I, this, again. This one I had the weakest ideas for, so. I just kind of added some texture and that's it. It's like a master class in problem solving. (laughs) It's just like, I don't know what to put up there. Let's try this. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Look, I didn't think that hard. I just knew I wanted something up there. We'll figure it out later. That was great. Two whole more pieces. This is already so art. Yeah, it's so art. I can't tell you, Karina, how compelling the three sitting clay figures stacked up. <laughs> For some reason, like something about it is so compelling to me. <laughs> I love them. They're just girls. It's yeah. just such a specific a- aesthetic <laughs> that like triggers my brain chemistry. That makes me happy to hear. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the girls piece. 
That's awesome. I can't wait to see the next one. Do you want to like tell us what the... Well, I'll preface it by saying, uh, so this this was the style I was doing for all three pieces because I just wanted to do stuff. I didn't... Yeah. It was too hard to put everything together in an illustration. So I was just like, I'll just make images. Collage. And um, so the next theme is little guys. Little guys. <laughs> yes. All right. Should we do it? Yes. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Uh, so for this one, I wanted to have a similar thing of like little clay figures. Also, I'm so sorry. I forgot to turn off autofocus. So it's like kind of pulsing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I because I, I love cute things. I love cute little guys. So I just like made a list of little guys I liked and then like made little clay figures of them so that I could photograph them and collage them into my drawing. That's amazing. It's one of those things where it's like, it would take me a million times longer to figure out how to render a drawing in a way that looks like 3D in the way I want it to look than it would be to just like do this. So that's what I was doing. Just so actually this actually make it. In yeah, 3D. this one's sculpty. So these like some of the stuff I made for this, it's like plasticine so that you don't dry. Mm -hmm. You just like reuse it or something. So these I, I do still have. Nice. <laughs> They're just sitting in my desk. That's Pikachu. That's Fr Pikachu. Friends for Luigi. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> um, yeah, but Luigi. yeah, so I made a Pikachu. Uh, uh, that's Puchaco because I loved Sanrio and still fucking do. Um, one of them was supposed to be Kuropi, but then I decided not to. Um, and... Uh, I have a lot of like sculpture shit because it was something I wanted to like start doing more and then like never had time. And then Julia did Luigi and I was like, God, I want to do that. <laughs> so this is a doggy because, um, you know, you know doggy. how a lot of girls have like horse girl phases? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I never did. I <laughs> had a 101 Dalmatian phase yeah. as a child. Oh, I was boy. obsessed with 101 Dalmatians a for a movie. while. The live action or the animated? Both. Nice. I just like Dalmatians. But yeah, and then I made a Hemptaro, and this last one is Jerry after from Tom and Jerry after he ate a piece of cheese. Oh, yeah. 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 Wedge. So wedge, specific. wedge, wedge. <laughs> Because Tom and Jerry is still really popular in Asia. So they have like gachapon sets of like Tom and Jerry in the different like little like when yeah. they get bonked or like <laughs> flattened. Um, but yeah, so then I baked them and I painted them. And I only have so many colors of paint and I, I didn't. So you get to watch me struggle to make uh, brown paint. And um I was like playing music that kind of got me in the mood while I was doing this. And I was listening to like rinky dink clown music while working <laughs> on these. So if you want, I can render out the clip of me struggling to mix brown paint while listening to like KK Circus from oh, Animal please. Cross. Oh, please. I, I <laughs> and we can put that. it at the end of the video. <laughs> yes, we need that for this. Yeah. And then I just uh, drew on their... Uh, their features using Posca markers. And I I didn't, I, I was doing this really quickly because I actually did all three of these in like maybe about 15 hours. And um, I, I also figured it doesn't matter if they're nice because I want them to have like a childish quality to them. So then uh, I, <laughs> I, I drew Tom from Tom and Jerry, but he looks very like anime. Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> and um, my idea here was to put the little guys like the kind of like stickers, like the Olivia Rodrigo style like sticker shit. But yeah. I I ended up not doing that. But it 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 starts off as that. Um, uh, now I really want to do like an album challenge where we take album art and replace one of the, you know, replace the characters with characters we love. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's fun. <laughs> I did that with KK Slider and <laughs> yes. Sufjan Stevens. Yes. Uh, let's bring that back. So now I'm just doing the thing. Um, yeah. I was telling y'all that I like, because uh, I have a little balcony space and I almost knocked over like my screen door because I forgot to open it like a dog and just walked into <laughs> it and it fell forward and almost fell off my balcony while I was like holding these little like 
tchotchkes. Oh my god. Yeah, you haven't told us about the little guys yet. I you wanted just... it to be a surprise. Yeah, it's because the... I was photographing those outside and I was just like, no. My life flashed Aww. before my eyes. You really and I, like, almost Mr. Magood yourself. That's so funny. <laughs> but yeah. Jeez. <laughs> cheese jerry i love cheese jerry He's so him good. and like perfectly cube cubular tom are my favorite cubular. Really good. <laughs> totally cubular this render on tom is just real nice yeah, it's yeah. really pleasant Thank you. looking um I was using a lot of like filtering and gradient maps. I, I drew like little guys. I was just drawing little guys with no like rhyme or reason. I was like, they'll go somewhere. Yeah. Probably. There's, there's, they're so little. There's space. And yeah. if not, I'll delete them. And uh, this is just me fucking around with like gradient mapping because I wanted it to have like real funky colors. Yeah. And I didn't know what I wanted to do. So the song I was listening to for this like bit is uh the drama by kesha because mm -hmm. it has this bit at the end that's in the next life i want to come back as a house cat and i was like that's me she's just like me for <laughs> real for real so that's what that says and then i was gonna have it at the bottom and i didn't like it and i wanted something at the left i didn't like any of it and I was gonna have him doing a different face, but I didn't like it. So I just oh, like, I like all these. <laughs> well, he doesn't do any of them. Okay. Fuck this. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. Ooh, yeah. a little warp You're tool. A little so instead, I just drew more cats. <laughs> so that's Cyborg Kurochan, who like I didn't actually watch Cyborg Kurochan as a kid. I just like occasionally discovered it on like Animax whenever I was in the Philippines. But it's the most Karina core ass yeah. show. Yeah out there For it's sure. just like hyper not even hyper violent he's just like a snooty little cat with a gun hand he's a cy cyborg uh i i need to get more into it so and then god Oman, of course the icon and then i didn't know what i wanted so i just hand wrote things god Oman, aka proto moonpaw yeah <laughs> man i was just fucking around <laughs> and this video really <laughs> it makes so much sense jacob and i were out with friends and he was like on his phone and i was like what are you doing and he's like sorry i think karina popped off again <laughs> Aww, shucks. i gotta handle this i think karina popped off <laughs> i gotta step away for a moment now i understand <laughs> but yeah and then i just brought those little uh lot monetary mons back and made a little thing to kind of just compositionally fill shit out. And that's little guys. Little guys. guys. I love these so much, Karina. <laughs> Category little, little guys. guys. I had a lot of fun with this. I was like, I was like in crazed person mode doing this. Um, cause I did this one and the next one in one day and oh it's like all I did the entire day. I felt oh like I didn't God. blink for 12 hours, <laughs> but it was like really fun. And it, it, I don't know, it made me feel like I was kind of like back in school or just like doing whatever. Hell yeah. Yeah. The little line of guys on the right and then just <laughs> Jerry sitting on Tom's head. Like, what are you going to do? It felt right. I'm, I'm, in, yeah. I'm in an extra dimension. You can't get me there. You can't stop me now. But yeah, I was having fun um, uh, with the different textures that photographing actual objects yeah, provides. It's so, it's so art. It's so art, and it's it really so does have art. that free feeling to it, where yeah. it feels like you were just like trying stuff with, yeah, and seeing what what hit. I wanted to feel like a child, so I did. I want to see the next one. Well, the next one is um, so the theme is cringe. Oh, okay, <laughs> perfect. It's the stuff that's like well, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, and also for this one, I like. I like scribbled down a thumbnail in, in my sketchbook and then I was like, yeah, that works. So there's already like a, a really like crusty drawing on there when it starts. That's all that is. Great. Cool. Let's let's jump in. Let's get ready to cringe. Let's get ready to cringe. Oh, baby. Three, two, one, go. So here he comes. I hate drawing real people, but you know I gotta start. <laughs> Is it Castiel? With Misha Collins. Of course. <laughs> and his son. <laughs> Destiel confession. 
my my current uh, embodiment of cringe. He's yeah. and and his father. <laughs> so this is cringes both past and present. Yeah. Yeah. Cringing through the ages. Exactly. So these are just like things that, you know, in, in hindsight it's like kind of cringe, but yeah. Um it's still a part of me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so now we got America from Hitalia. Mm-hmm. Of course. And um, I wanted I wanted this to come off as like a powerful cringe image. So I, I went with a religious theming oh, for the perfect. composition. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Really like covering all your bases yeah, there. Yeah, so the the godlike eyes are Haruhi Suzumiya. <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know, since Castiel is there, he's an angel. Yeah. So they, they know each other. Yeah, they know each other. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I got to include Destiel Confession. Yeah. Everything, all, all of my cringe came to a head with him. Yeah. So. He's the one that says to the viewer, and yes, I'm still cringe to this day. <laughs> I'm still playing. I will pets. not change. <laughs> I will not grow. <laughs> but yeah, I was trying to go with a pretty symmetrical composition here to to evoke kind of a more classical looking image and feeling. <laughs> <laughs> With cringe, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. So th- this I just drew like normal, <laughs> um, and I, I redrew his feet ten million times because I didn't know how to make them look. Yeah, that's fair. I hate that I designed him to not have shoes, but I mean he doesn't in the game. So what can you do? Well, yeah, he's being just true got, to life. I, he got to be. He's got to be him. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so that's my beautiful son and his beautiful father. Ooh, and since, God. yeah, sorry again for my horrible camera quality. It's a webcam. It's a webcam. Um, <laughs> so I wanted the eye to be a different kind of texture. So I was just copying it, um, but making my own using marker. Um, so that it just had a different texture to it than like any of the digital stuff I was drawing. Yeah. And then... Um, yeah, and gotta Ooh. do the like old school oh, Kiyoani yeah. eyes, and then did a wing for oh for Castiel. Um, the, and there's the mixed media era. I'm, I'm just, just enjoying so much. You're just not you. You just don't have an undo button. You're just going. Yeah, I messed That's up the eye a lot. So but... impressive. <laughs> um. <laughs> There were a couple other things that I didn't even bother recording myself doing at this point because it was like getting late. Uh, I, I made a couple more like clay figures. So you'll see those, like, or not or the plasticine, you'll see those pop up, but they weren't even interesting to look at. So don't worry about it. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, whatever. But yeah, let's just cut <laughs> all these weird. out. Okay. Um, and then you color adjust them. Also, uh, cut out was the part where I drew everything on the same layer. So. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> and then I made a little wing Karibo because everyone's going to be like, where's the Yu-Gi-Oh? I'm like, a bitch, I have three Yu-Gi-Oh tattoos. Like, <laughs> <laughs> They're in the video. Yeah, yeah. it's implied. You've um, seen them. Wow, that one Karibo. I made super quickly, so I just airbrushed it again. <laughs> I love that Karibo is... Is relegated to cringe and I'm not so little sorry. guys. He does not. <laughs> he does not get to be invited to the little guys party. He's like, no, uh, sorry. <laughs> but but I'm a little guy. No. Let, let's just like count it as um, me buying um, a Yu-Gi-Oh the Abridge series shirt and wearing it like weekly in high school. Yeah. Shout He's... out to Little Karibo. We're buddies. <laughs> uh, if you know what that rabbit is, then you know. And so, yeah. And then I just added a frame. Uh, da bubba. I. <laughs> da bubba. Da bubba. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I. I was just like blacking out at this point. I think. Da baby. No. Da bubba. Da bubba. Da bussy. My favorite composer. My favorite face in his hands. Just <laughs> rubbing his face. <laughs> But yeah, I I wanted to evoke religious imagery with this one, so everything's very uh, symmetrical and uh, the, the I don't know. I, I just colored him the way I normally do, all dramatic and slutty, I guess. So 
Oh, yeah. He looked good. He's my patron saint of cringe. And he look at him. He doesn't care. Yeah. He's loving it. He's, he's got, loving it. He got his devil may care attitude from Dean, his father, and his uh, shame-based homosexuality <laughs> from his <laughs> father, Castiel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, recently Nathan said something to me. <laughs> oh, I was quoting, I'm, I'm pretty no, sure it was a tweet I Nathan saw. Nathan said but, this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill the part of you that's cringe. Kill the part of you that cringes. Yeah. Yeah. And then I put a little, like, what do you want to call it? A banner, but it's Haruhi's ribbon. <laughs> Amazing. God, perfect. <laughs> It's yes. so good. <laughs> it's so good at being be so bad. It's wow. That's um, yeah. I think you've. I I think you're just drawing the uh, religion of Tumblr. Is what this is. <laughs> uh, Karina Pop specific bits and parts. Yeah, yeah. This is this is for me. This, this is, is the religion of Karina. Yeah. I I fuck around a little with like shading. Mm -hmm these these guys but then i decide i don't want to like go into the nuance of having to like shade it properly and stare at misha collins cardboard cutout <laughs> face i was referencing a cardboard cutout of a promotional image like for even longer He's like crying. it was yeah because because <laughs> he loves dean and um <laughs> <laughs> Nathan said that. <laughs> That's a quote from Nathan. Yeah, who yeah Nathan it. came up with that. I, I said you have to put this in your in one of your pieces for because this. I said it. Yeah. First. Because I, I just, said it. I just put a bunch of sparklies because I was listening to Nightcore. And that's it. That's the cringe piece. Oh my you've, god! So that's <laughs> you've opened up your soul and let us gaze upon it in three ways. Yeah, I yeah. think so. That's a I very had a lot of fun doing it. Powerful thing to do, <laughs> and it's also just like so technically impressive oh, on yeah. so many levels. Thank you. And wow, the aesthetics are just wow. so good. <laughs> I love. I love all of this. Yeah. Thank you. I'm it glad was, we made you do this one. It was yeah. nice. <laughs> it was nice to take a break from just like illustration in that sense. Yeah. Uh, everyone should give it a try if you ever feel like it. You've got such just a. Just make things that look cool. A wide ranging skill set that you use for pure chaos. <laughs> and it's, it's incredible. Yay. Yeah, I feel inspired by these. I want to try to do stuff too. <gasps> you should. You Who should. knows if I will, but I want to. I predict <laughs> an uptick in Just the do... high res PNG tier for these pieces. They are very high res. I made them poster size. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. So if you and join... we can't print them because they have copyrighted characters in them. <laughs> but you can. <laughs> you can if you join at the high res PNG tier. Yeah, because I viewed them as a set of three posters that you put up in yeah. your dining room. <laughs> <laughs> if you want Amazing. Karina's yeah. light to shine upon you. Yeah. Imagine a dining room and one wall has these three and the other wall has like a decently sized picture of the Last Supper. That sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, that that's my like vision. <laughs> flawless decoration. Which one of you will be the one that does it? Yeah. Is what I want to know. Yeah, yeah. Please send, send, us photos. send us photos if you do. Oh but my god. Yeah, just do what I did and be inspired like I was with Julia, and then do it in a few months <laughs> when you find the time and energy <laughs> and walk into a screen door. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Actually, don't. And if you do, you better catch it, or else you're gonna have to do a walk of shame to your superintendent. <laughs> oh my God! Amazing work, Karina. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for for all of your service. <laughs> <laughs> we salute you. Oh my God, this is so much work. And thank you, viewer, for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Let us know if you liked this style of episode where we have one artist do three pieces. I thought it was really fun. Yeah. So um, maybe we'll try some more of these. We're, we're just trying stuff out. We're trying stuff. Yeah. We're in our experimental era. Maybe not everything's going to hit perfect, but let no one say someone is honking their ass off outside. <laughs> Let no one Let say no we one didn't say try. Honk. And no one say honk. Yeah. I'm sick of it. Don't comment honk. Comment 
something you liked as a kid. Yeah. yeah. And how you would interpret it <laughs> as an adult. <laughs> and like and subscribe and join our Patreon and buy our merch and watch us on Twitch. We're sorry. 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 Sorry.